Hello everyone, Rob here. I'm just a little bit late to the game, but wanted to give you my take on Ubuntu Cinnamon. Uh, I've had no issues here over the past couple of days. In fact, I'm, I'm really pleased with the implementation. Sometimes when you see desktops that aren't officially supported, uh, you know, being put into Remix or whatever as the devs have done here, sometimes it's, you know, hit and miss. In this case, they hit the target. It's uh, very fluid. It feels uh, well put together. Uh, nothing seems extremely out of place or anything like that. It's, you know, it's a really good match. So overall, kudos to the uh, developer team. Uh, so what you're going to get here is the Ubuntu base of uh, 2004 uh, LTS as well as uh, Cinnamon Desktop 4.4, which is, I think, the latest. Um, you'll get some other things that you won't find in, say, Linux Mint. So, for example, a panel switcher, which uh, is reminiscent of Ubuntu Mate with, you know, Cupertino, XP, Windows 7's layouts with the panels and things like that. Uh, you'll also get a more recent kernel uh, at 5.4 than you would have within Linux Mint current version of Linux Mint. As most of you are aware who follow this channel, Linux Mint's just around the corner with probably a beta release, I'm going to say, I'm guessing in the next week or so, uh, with slated release for, or official release slated for sometime in June, whenever it's ready. So that means a beta must be coming up soon of a Linux Mint 20. So looking forward to seeing that and we'll see what's updated there. The other things you're going to get with Ubuntu Cinnamon is their version of theming, which is not to my taste. It's very orange and brown. However, um, that's easy enough to change. And with the panel switcher and theming in place, within a few minutes, you could have a totally different look here. So don't let that hold you up. Uh, it's fast. It's fluid. It's a, I'm going to say a medium weight distro with the number of packages that are there. And speaking of packages, you get a very updated 6.4 with LibreOffice. Um, and, and a lot of other updated package that if you were to install Linux Mint today, you would not get. So that may be one of the reasons you want to give this a shot.